In this video, I'll tell you about one of the most common SSL connection errors faced. That's name mismatch error. So what is a name mismatch error? When we generate a certificate, we provide some info for generating the certificate. CN or common name is one such input. It indicates domain name of the server which we want to host. For example, if you want to host your server on www.myserver.com, you'll provide myserver.com as CN. The name mismatch error indicates that the common name or the domain name in the SSL certificate doesn't match the address that is in the address bar of the browser. For example, if the certificate is for www.myserver.com and you access the site as www.yourserver.com, you will get this SSL certificate name error. So let's see how does this name mismatch error looks like and how can we find out the error. When we try to open this website, it did not load. Instead. It is giving us this error, common name invalid. Let's click on advanced to find out more about this error. As you can see, it says that this server could not prove that it is www.picturematters.in. Its security certificate is from star.websitewelcome.com. This may be caused by a misconfiguration or an attacker intercepting your connection. So it is clear that it's cn is star.websitewelcome.com whereas we are trying to open picturematters.in. One more place where you can see the contents of the certificate is here. Just click on the padlock, then click on details, then click on view certificate. It provides a lot of info about the certificate. See. It's cn is star.websitewelcomes.com. We can also see what's wrong with the certificate on online SSL checkers. I explained about it in my previous video, SSL certificates troubleshooting. Now let's see what it has to say. It reiterates our point. None of the common names in the certificate match the name that was entered. We may also receive an error while accessing this site in a web browser. Now, how can we fix our problem? Well, the problem is not yours. It's in the certificate because it was generated using the wrong scene. So the only way you can fix the error is by regenerating the certificate with the correct scene. Sometimes that's not in your control. And if it is not in your control, you can either open your website in HTTP mode rather than HTTPS or ignore the warning, but it is not recommended. To ignore the warning and proceed, just click at the bottom of this web page. Although you'll keep getting that red color in padlock. Most web browsers make it clear that you shouldn't just continue when you receive this error. This is because while most of the time it doesn't, but sometimes it could indicate that a fisher is trying to pass a website off as a legitimate site. So be careful while dealing with this error. Thank you.